Okay, now let's go on. Questions 9 to 13 and we have true false not given. Do the following statements agree with the information given in reading passage? Uh, by the way, for true false not given, the passage and the questions, they are going to be in order, one by one. Okay, whenever you read the question for true, false, not given, you have to actually define it into three parts. I tell you how. Question number nine, metal used in the float process had to have specific properties. Now, you can use if. If the metal used in the float process had to have specific properties, then it is true. And by the way, for specific properties, they will talk about those properties. Right. And if it does not need to have any specific properties, like without any properties, any metal could be used, then it is false. And if they don't tell us whether the metal used in the float process had any specific properties or not, then it will be not given. Now, let's go back metal and float process and specific properties. Will you please come back to third paragraph? Third paragraph, third last line after the full stop. Found it? The metal had to melt at a temperature less than the hardening point of glass. Now, what is that? That is the property. The metal had to melt at a temperature less than the hardening point of glass, about 600 centigrade. So, what is that? Property. They are describing the property, but could not boil at a temperature below. So what's the question? The metal used in the float process have to have specific properties. And what is that specific property? Metal uh, had to melt at a temperature. So that was the specific property that it had to melt. So the answer will be true, absolutely. Question number 10. Uh, Pilkington invested some of his own money in the float plant. Now, if he invested his own money in the float plant, answer is true. If he did not invest his own money or if he invested all the money, because in the question they say some money. If in the passage they say he invested all the money, then the answer is false. And if they don't tell us whether he invested anything or not, then the answer will be not given. Now let's go back. Clue word is float plant. Float plant. Please come to the second page. Second page of the passage. Pilkington built a pilot plant in 1953 and by 1955 he had convinced his company to build a full scale plant. However, it took 14 months of non-stop production costing the company $100,000 a month. Have, why false? Not given. not given. They did not mention anything about Pilkington, whether he invested some money or he invested all money or he invents, invested no money. Okay, now it's not that amount is given, then it is false. Or jo mujhe nahi mil raha, wo not given. Jo mujhe samaj nahi aara, wo false. Jo mujhe mil gaya wo true. Again, not like that. Question number 11. Pilkington's first full-scale plant was instant commercial success. Now look here. Instant commercial success means it succeeded commercially quickly. Instant success means quick success. So his first plant was instant commercial success. Please come back to same paragraph. Fourth line. Okay, furthermore, once they succeeded, mil gaya sabko? they succeeded in making marketable flat glass, the machine was turned off for a service to prepare it for years of continuous production. When it started up again, it took another four months. Now, instant success. And now they are saying it took another four months to get the process right again. They finally succeeded in 1959. And there are now float plants, blah, blah, blah. And then they say 15 years. So now was that instant success? No, it took them more time. Machines stopped working. Then they needed more four months and all that. So the answer is going to be false. 
right you know this word instant success this is going to decide whether it is true false or not given okay now come to question number 12 the process invented by pilkington has now been improved if the process has been improved answer is true if the process is same absolutely then the answer is false and if they don't tell us then it is not given so please come to next paragraph Float plants today, now today means improved or not, we'll see that. Make glass of near optical quality. Several processes, melting, refining, homogenizing, take place simultaneously in the 2000 tons of molten glass in the furnace. Let's go on. They occur in separate zones in complex glass flow driven by high temperature. It adds up to a continuous melting process lasting as long as 50 hours that delivers glass smoothly and continuously to the float bath and from there to a coating zone and finally a heat treatment blah 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 so many treatments they are telling us now let's go back what's the question the process invented by Pilkington. Now, just if you go to his process and then compare his process with this process where there are several sub processes. So the question is, has now been improved? What do you think? It is true. Why true? Just go back to see his original process of making that. That was just, I mean, go back to the previous paragraph. Yeah, but now when you come here, they say 50 hours delivering glass smoothly. Then they say continuous melting process, float path, and all that. So float plants today make glass of near optical quality. When they say optical quality, optical quality means the quality has improved. Optical quality means the best quality. Optical quality means like from your eyes you can see, you can see through the glass. You know sometimes this happens, shisha laga hota hai, samajhi nahi aata ke hai ya nahi hai. That means the glass is of optical quality. So float plants today make glass of near optical quality and several processes. This thing shows that the process has improved. So the answer is true. Question number 13. Computers are better. Now this uh, true false not given question is a comparative one. What is comparative one? Computers are better than human at detecting faults in glass. Now, if computers are better, then it is true. If humans are better than computer, then it is false. And if they don't tell us who is better, then it is not given. Now, look for the word computers. Second last paragraph, third last sentence. Inspection technology. Found it? Inspection technology allows more than 100 million measurements a second to be made across the ribbon. Locating flaws the unaided eye would be unable to see. Secondly, it enables computers downstream to steer cutters around flaws. So computers steer cutters around flaws. Now, there is one word, unaided eye. Exactly. Unaided eye means human eye. So what do they say? They say inspection technology allows more than 100 million measurements a second. Just think, is that possible by a human to do with his eyes? 1 million measurements a second to be made across the ribbon. Locating flaws, the unaided eye would unable to see. So unaided eye means human eye. Unaided eye means naked eye of human. Okay, so the answer, what is the question? Computers are better than human? Yes. yes, they are better than human. Why? Because they use this thing here that unaided eye would be unable to see it. Means human eye would be unable to see it. That means computers are better and the answer is true. Okay, thank you.